Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to some more Endless Scrap Mechanic. We're back in creative mode for Top of the Shop, the series where we take a look at the best builds from the Steam Workshop from the past week. And we've got some amazing trucks, some amazing builds today. I'm really excited to check them out. Now, before I get started with the video, I did want to take a moment to thank all of my current channel members. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for supporting the Orbit and the Endless Scrap Mechanic. Now, if you've been watching and you are looking for a way to further support my channel and what I'm doing here, um, I have merchandise. Uh, there's a link down in the description if you guys do want to check out the merch. There's a brand new design created by Moon Girl, my girlfriend. She did an amazing job job with the Moonbow mechanic. We also have the Exit the Void design as well. They look really awesome and you can also become a member on the channel as well. You get an awesome badge next to your name. So guys, thank you so much for all the support so far though. It's much appreciated and obviously not required as well. Now, I don't usually push that kind of stuff, but it's been a while since I've ever mentioned it or brought it up, so I figured why not? But now, let's check out Top of the Shop. So the first build we are going to check out is the epic land slash speedboat hybrid created by Red Plays YT. Now YT means they do have a YouTube channel, so you might want to go and check that out. Uh, so this is a hybrid build. It's a car. It's a boat. Now, I don't have any water here in creative mode. I think everyone is really excited for water to get added eventually. Uh, so how is this going to boat for us? Well, I guess we might as well just hop into the driver's seat. Uh, okay, so we can turn. We're driving on saw blades. That doesn't feel like it's a very safe thing to do, but uh, we got saw blades. We can... Oh, we can drive around. It's... It's actually not so bad. It's it's pretty slippery, but it's doing way better than I was expecting. Now, we've got buttons and switches here. What do they do? One... Whoa! What? Okay. I think we're in boat mode now. Uh-oh. Okay, we're not driving. Let's see what 2 does. Oh, there we go. 2's got the thruster power. That is what we need. Now, how do I turn? I'm not able to turn right now. I guess maybe 3 and 4 might be for something like that. Okay, it's nothing's happening. We're kind of stuck. Is it working? Is it turning? Oh, it is! 3 and 4 are what we use to turn. Oh my god. Okay, whoa, hold on. It's so out of control, but I love it. It's such a slippery smooth ride on these saw blades. Now, we've got one more button. What does five? Oh, it shoots the spud guns. Yes. This thing is tough to control. Okay, here we go. We're up. We've made it. Okay, we've got the giant ski jump here. I forgot all about the ski jump. I guess we're going to try and take this thing off of it. All right, here we go. Land boat. Ready for takeoff. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, we're flying. Okay, turn the thrusters off. Oh, jeez. Ah, perfect landing. Yeah, this is a crazy build. It's totally wonky with the saw blade physics, but I love it. Now, for the next build, we've got the Hummer H2 limousine created by David Baguetta, and it's pretty funny on my lift. You can see that there's the original Hummer that we saw last week, and right next to it, we've got the brand new one, which is the limousine, and of course, it is painted in the beautiful Barbie pink. This is a glamorous ride, and wow, it's a very long limousine. This is like an extended style limo. Now, I don't see any switches for door handles or anything like that, so I think maybe I might just have to like hop into it just like so. Okay, now we're in the driver's seat. How is this thing gonna drive? It's so long. Look at the turning radius on this thing. Oh man, this is cool though. As much fun as it is to drive a limo, I think it'd be more fun to be a passenger in a limo. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is... This is a PG-13 limo here. Come on, guys. So what does this switch do right here? Oh, whoa. It's like a light show. Oh, man. That is absolutely amazing. Man, look at this. We've got a bar. We've got all sorts of stuff here. Man, this is insane. The couch work, the cup holders, whatever the heck this thing is. Now we got more switches though. What do these do? Uh, <laughs> okay, is it just... Okay, it's just gonna keep playing until it's done apparently. All right, now that is over. We can try number two. Okay, that's the radio in three. Oh! <laughs> oh man, this limo's got it all, doesn't it? Man, what a party it is in here! This limo 
is legit. I think the only thing it's really missing is like a glass divider here that you can bring up. <laughs> but let's see what this is like to drive. The party's going on in the back. We're taking nobody nowhere right now. But this thing is bopping. All right, next up, we're going to be checking out the mini electric motorbike. It's got no mods, and it's created by Wolfie. Now, motorcycles are pretty neat in Scrap Mechanic. I've seen some in Survival. Uh, they typically use the suspension glitch for self-writing purposes. Now, this thing looks awesome. It's absolutely tiny. It's using the small wheels. So let's see how it drives. <laughs> oh my god, look at this thing! It's so cute! I love it! Now, it does have two buttons. I'm not sure what those are gonna do. Oh, we've got our little headlight. Wow, it's using a button with logic to turn it on and off. And then we also have two... Oh, which is like... Whoa! What is this? That's crazy! How are these pistons non-stop... Wow! Oh, that is so cool! So the pistons are just like endlessly being activated, which is creating a really awesome like steam-looking exhaust effect. Man, that is awesome! Now, it's not a super fast motorcycle, but I don't think that's the purpose of it. This is like a little bit of a pocket bike kind of thing. It's extremely stable though. It doesn't want to fall over at all. Now, I guess we're going to do another test though here. This is the ski jump. We're back up here again. This is the place to be. So we're going to try and take this little tiny motorcycle off of our ski jump. <laughs> it might not be fast enough, but still, the anticipation is killing me. Yes! Big jump, big air! We stick the landing. Yo, that thing went better than the saw boat. Yeah, I love this motorcycle. It looks absolutely awesome. And I think maybe one day, maybe one day, I will use the suspension glitch in survival to make a motorcycle. I'm not saying it's never gonna happen, but I guess we're just gonna have to find out, aren't we? All right, so this next build that we're gonna be taking a look at is called the Impossible Scavenger Hunt Mini Game. This was created by Quanta101. Now, the point of this build is you have to go around and you have to try and find all 11 ducks that have been hidden. There's some rules as well. You, you're not allowed to break any blocks. You're not allowed to clear your inventory. Or sorry, no, you have to clear your inventory completely. And you're not allowed to use the wire tool. You can't see anything with it. So I'm going to spawn this in and weld it to the ground. And I don't know how long it's going to take, so I might not get through all 11 ducks. But I'm going to see how many I can find as quick as I can. Okay, this is it. I've got it welded. I'm going to clear my inventory. I'm just, I'm going to keep these things, but I will get rid of the connection tool just in case I accidentally go over to it. Now, here we go. Trying to find all 11 ducks. I better look around here. Make sure there's none hidden on the outside. Okay, come on, ducks. Where are you? I can't break blocks. So, like, there's a switch in there, but I can't break these blocks to get at it. So, I'm confused. Oh, but there's a switch here. That opens that. So, I can press that switch. I, I don't know what that just did. Oh, man. This is going to be harder than I was expecting. You know, I thought I was going to walk in and see at least one or two ducks. But that is not the case. There's no ducks anywhere. Oh, I just found a switch behind the toilet. So I don't even know what that's doing. Where are all of these things happening? What is this? Another switch? That just pushed that up. Another switch? That, what is happening? Oh, I found my first duck. There it is. Duck retrieved. So that is duck number one. Now I am going to put the duck in my toolbar at the bottom. And the reason for that is because I can go outside here. And this is, I think, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to put the ducks on this little pedestal. So I'm going to put duck number one. And we're going to keep on looking. All right, I think I'm going to try and wait. Whoa, hold on. Hidden passageway. Hidden stairs. Wait, what is going on here? There's no duck in here? How is there no duck in here? Oh, here we go. Just found a switch. We're going to press it. Wait, did that just open this up? It did. For another switch. Whoa. What the heck? Okay, that just smacked me. I guess we're going to go up into this, like, attic. Oh my god, what is going on here? Oh, here we go. Behind the couch. It's turning the shark. Oh, there's the switch behind the shark. That's opening up the side of the couch. What is going on here? That opens up a platform to a balcony. Now I'm up all the way on the top of the roof. 
And I'm not seeing... Oh, here's one. Okay. Got another one. I'll put it down on the podium in a moment here. I don't want to waste any of my efforts getting up here. And I don't want to have to, like, try and find my way back. Oh, this looks like another balcony here. But I don't see any switches. Oh, there's a switch here. Now, what's in here? Oh, a platform with a switch. There's stuff up here as well. What the heck is going on up here? This is opened... Wait, it's not opened enough. I can't... I can't get through. There's a switch on the back of it. Alright, well, I can't get through. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, activate another switch or something. Or maybe... Is it just stuck? Okay, no. It's definitely not stuck. Well, I guess I'll go down here to the podium. I am going to put another duck. That's 2 out of 11. I have a feeling I'm not gonna finish this. Now, we didn't go this way here. Ooh, a little bedroom. Wait, is this like a secret... Is that a secret area? Okay, hold on. Switch here. Okay, that's pushing the bed up. Okay, hold on. I, I didn't know that was gonna happen. We're gonna go on the bed. Okay, here we go. Is there any ducks around here, though? You know, gotta do my first preliminary duck check. What is that? What are you pointing at? All right, well, let me see what this switch does by the bed entrance. Oh, whoa. That drops down right here. Wait. Is this just another... Okay, that's just like another entrance to this spot right here. Now, over here, we've got plants. Oh, I spotted a switch here. Oh, I think it opened up this spot right here. Did I miss that? I think it's that door right there. Let me check. Okay, it is. Yes, okay, so we're gonna open that up again. This is a different spot. What the heck? Okay, here's another switch. Whoa! It's crushing me? Stop that. I don't know. I don't understand what's going on here. Wait. Oh. Okay. That opened. Danger. Yeah, we got explosives here. Oh my god. What is going on? Okay, there's a switch here. So I guess I'm going to just backtrack. Yeah, I don't know what I just activated by hitting that switch back there, so... I did! The hand was pointing here. And I opened up this spot. Oh, look! We've got our third duck now. All right, here we go. Duck number three. Okay, here's the switch. Uh, so let's press that. Okay, here we go. Whoa. I can reach the duck. I grabbed it. I don't know if I was supposed to. Activate that switch. What did that switch just do? So, most definitely, I could keep on searching this place for a long time. I think I did a pretty good job, though. We got four ducks. And I feel like we went through the entire house. Now... Clearly, there is more to it than this. I am not gonna, like, rip it apart and spoil anything. I highly suggest you guys go check it out on the Steam Workshop, and you try your hand at spotting all 11 of these ducks. Alright, so the next build that we're gonna check out is a warehouse truck with no mods created by Sanchels. Now, this is kind of like the idea of the video today, is checking out some of these amazing trucks. And this thing looks absolutely amazing. You can see this is a lot of the new parts that are available from survival like hold on is this there's like a license plate man just look at the designs look at the shapes and even the trailer oh man this is really inspiring i am definitely going to be getting back into some creative mode builds pretty soon uh and seeing stuff like this is just such a motivation so let's try and drive this big rig here okay that is such a cool door Absolutely love it. Okay, we've got the one single driver's seat. Man, look at this view! This is so cool. Let's shut the door behind us. Hop into the seat here. Oh, man. This is so awesome. Now, this thing must weigh a ton. Look at this! Our wheels are just spinning out of control. Now, I want to see what is going on with this trailer. Let's crack it open here. Oh, actually, look, we have a door. Door to the trailer. Wow! Okay, so this is not just like a storage trailer. This is, you know what, I don't, I don't even know what we would do with a trailer like this, but it seems like it's like a little bit of a workshop style build. Oh man, look, we can open up the back gate. Oh man, that looks so cool. So, it seems like it might be tradition in this video to take some vehicles off of the giant ski jump. So, why don't we try and do that with this? Yeah, I think it's official. This thing is just way too heavy. I can't even imagine trying to pull this thing up. Like, I actually, before I even tried to do it, 
I connected the engine here to a bunch of the bearings on the trailer as well, because this is all one creation, and that's still not enough. This thing is definitely a beast of a truck. So this build might be really, really heavy and difficult to drive because of it, but it looks absolutely phenomenal. The usage of these new survival parts are truly inspiring, like I said. I'm loving this build, uh, and you guys should definitely check it out on the workshop. Now, next up, we are going to be checking out a Haybot created by Scrappy412. Now, this thing looks like an awesome replica of the Haybot that we know and love in survival mode. But look at this! It's giant! Oh man, that looks so cool! This is an amazing replica of the Haybot. Look at the detail work. All of the nuts and the bolts and the brackets. Oh, that looks so cool. Now, as far as I understand, this is also an interactive build, so I can open up the switch here. We've got a seat. Oh my. This looks absolutely insane. Alright, let's shut it. Now here we go. I think we can do like an attack move. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Look at this! That is the move I hate right there. That is like the front jabbing move. And that thing like always hits you. You can't dodge it whatsoever. And am I the only one that can hear the Haybots? Like, I swear, I go to sleep at night and I can hear the scary sound of those Haybots. It's, it's a very disconcerting kind of sound. Now, what else can we do? Okay, what is this? We've got like a crazy engine looking piston thing in the back. And wait, whoa, what was this? Number four opens up to a duck in a very peculiar spot. Now, there's one thing about this that I find isn't quite capturing the extreme scariness of the Haybots. And I feel like with a simple addition of maybe like these uh, these spotlights here in the eyes just like this and then we can paint them red there we go see now this this is the terrifying haybot that I know now normally in survival though we would be using our hammer you know after a few hits we can destroy the haybot but you know I don't think uh, I don't think my hammer is going to do the trick in this situation here, so we're gonna grab it. Yeah. Not working. So I'm gonna put a few explosives here, and let's see if we can't get some scrap metal out of this thing. Alright, here we go. It's gonna take, a, it takes five hammer hits to destroy a Haybot, right? So one, two, three, four, five. That's the fifth hit? Oh yeah. That was awesome. And look, it's just like in survival mode. The head is left over. Is there a spine? Okay, you know what? I think we might have destroyed the part where we can uh, actually claim some scrap metal, but that was really satisfying. Yeah, I definitely suggest you guys check this out on the Steam Workshop. It is loads of fun to destroy, and you see all the parts and pieces fly around. Um, there is a little bit of a cleanup once you do that, but I think it's totally worth it. Now, we're going to take a look at one final creation here today. This is called the truck, which means there's no other trucks necessary. This is the truck of all trucks. It's got no mods, and it was created by Crew Max. Now, this thing looks absolutely insane. Wow, look at the size of this thing. Now, this is another case of using the new survival parts in amazing ways. And my favorite thing on this build is the wheel well. Just take a look at this. This is all vanilla. Using bearings here, it rotates each panel in a really beautiful looking arch. I think that is absolutely awesome. This is truly an impressive truck, and the, sh the sheer size of it is what is probably the most impressive. Now let's see, let's open up a door. Ooh, nice piston style door. Let's hop inside. Now how does it drive though? Is this thing really heavy as well? Okay, this thing seems to be doing a little bit better. Oh, wow. It is actually a very, very smooth drive. And one thing to notice about the back here is you can see the suspension in the back is actually being angled on like a 45 degree um, pivot point, which is interesting. Now, what do all of these buttons do? Okay, one. Oh, wow. One is like a piston that puts us right up into the driver's seat. 
And this is a really cool idea and solution uh, for when you get out of the seat and you get stuck in the top of your vehicle. Uh, this allows you to like actually get some free movement. Uh, so, I couldn't take the uh, other big rig off of the ski jump. It was just way too heavy to drive up. Now, I have some higher hopes for this one, so I'm gonna try and get to the top, and we're gonna see if we can't launch this bad boy. Alright, come on, truck. I know you got the power. We got this. It's working. I think we're gonna make it. Just a little bit more. Please. Okay, almost at the top. Okay, here we go. We're at the top. We're gonna take this beast off of the ski jump. I think this is the best way to end this video. Okay, hold on, actually. I have an idea. Now, this idea might actually be a terrible idea. I mean, I suppose we're gonna find out here, but I'm gonna put some explosives on the front. Now, I guess it really depends on how we end up landing at the bottom of this. But the hope is that we're gonna land directly on our nose and the explosives are gonna get triggered. So here we go. Time to take the ski jump. I'm just gonna hold W. Oh God, this is gonna be insane. Giant jump. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. Boom, oh, oh my God. Just look at that destruction. So that is going to be today's episode of Top of the Shop. I hope you guys did enjoy these builds. Make sure you go check them out on the Steam Workshop. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy these builds or the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. If you guys want to tune in for some more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Maybe even turn on some notifications so you get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So guys, thank you so much for watching and... Well, I guess I will be seeing you guys in the next one, so bye for now.